Hi everyone, welcome back to the Geordie View, Sunny Castle United take on Leeds United. Tomorrow night it's in James's Park, an 8 o'clock hit off on Sky Sports. Last games for both these sides, some of the results really. We lost 4-1 to Manchester United Old Trafford, a game we were never going to get anything out of. It was good to see Mankio equalise with his first goal for the club. You know, you'll probably enjoy it more having been on the own at Liverpool. Um, but it was a write-off, we were never getting anything. As for Leeds, they lost 3-0 at home to Liverpool. They had um, Strudsk, I think that's how you pronounce it, sent off for that tackle on Harvey Elliott. That's left him out. That's left him with a broken leg. So really, both, both of us are winless in the Premier League so far. And um, there are actually planned protests by some of our fans. There is a protest um, group that have organised them. I mean, it's mainly against the Premier League, but if we do it in the ground, then, um, yeah, it'll get more attention than just going to Sports Direct or protesting outside the ground. You know, a boycott would get attention, but let's be honest, I don't think we could organise a boycott because of, you know, our fan base. But, um, you know, it would cause a lot of division, let's be honest. But obviously they're protesting against the Premier League in the ground. Um, you know, there's banners on the south in the southwest corner and the east stand. There's gonna be apparently paper planes on the pitch around around eighty minutes time into the game and um whistles in every break of play. You know what? It's a good start, it's better than nothing. But also and also I wanna hopefully we can get behind the side. You know, I do think the players will understand um, our frustrations, you know, off the pitch. But obviously, I'm hoping we'll get behind the team at the same time. And um, also, chant against Steve Bruce, I think it's, the pressure's getting to him with all these chants against him. You're seeing him getting angry with Lee Ryder after the Man United game. So, um, yeah, good luck to you know, everyone organising the protests, taking part. Anyway, we'll get um, into the team news. So for Newcastle, um, we've still got um, Callum Wilson, Paul Dummett, Martin Debravka and John Joe Shelby out this game. There was Shelby could have potentially been back for this game, but it looks like that he'll have to wait till next week. But even if he was fit, let's be honest, does he deserve to start? Nah. His attitude isn't correct right now. And... Um, I would rather play you know, young Joe White, who's on the bench against Man United. In fact, I'd even rather play Jeff Hendrick than him. Unpopular opinion, but that's how bad Shelby's been. <laughs> was against uh, West Ham in the first game of the season. Fraser could be back for this game. You know, we'll dance around Kieran Clark, Joe Willock and Javier Manquillo, but it looks like they'll be fine for this game. As for Leeds, they've obviously got that streak. Uh, suspended. They haven't got the same injury problems as they got. Still got Robin Koch, uh, Laurent is out, and uh, Adam Forshaw is out in the game. So players to watch out for from Leeds United. Patrick Bamford, obviously their top scorer last season, had a cracking se season for them. Uh, there was talk he could potentially miss that match with hamstring injury, but it looks like he's going to be fit to play. Then there's Rafinha, who was excellent for them last season as well. Of course, he scored the first goal in this fixture last season. He's one we've got to keep an eye on. Jack Harrison is a brilliant um, left-back. Scored in both games against us last season. Um, Calvin Phillips, who's um, obviously helped them to promotion from the Championship and has done very well in the Premier League. And I, I thought he was very good in the Euros for England. And finally, Stuart Dallas, one we've really got to watch out for. You know, not just scoring in the 5-2 win that Leeds had against us last month, sorry, last season, but he did, I remember, score the winner when they beat Manchester City at the Etihad towards the end of the season. Now we'll get into the starting level that I want. I'm actually going to go for 3-3. Three, three. I'm going to explain why in a bit. So starting off in goal... I'm going to stick with Freddie Woodman. Now let us know, would you have Woodman 
or would you bring De Brav- sorry, Darlow back in? I'm going to stick with Woodman. I don't. I wouldn't take him out just for one bad game. But if he, but if the pressure's getting to him, and um, he doesn't perform in this game, then I'd look to bring Darlow back in. Oh, I'm going to stick with Woodman for now. Into the back four. First up, Javier Manquillo, obviously getting his first goal for us last weekend. The centre backs. I don't want to see Jamal Lascelles in there. I don't want to see Isaac Hayden there because he's not a centre back. I'm going to go with Fabian Shaw and uh, Federico Fernandez. And um, you know I don't know why neither of them were involved last weekend uh, instead of uh, playing at centre back instead of Isaac Hayden. And then left back. I'm going to go with um, Jamal Lewis, who did come on for Matt Ritchie. No, so he, he came on for Kieran Clark, but, you know, he needs more of a looking chance, in my opinion, and I would play him at left back. Into the three midfielders, um, in centre of defensive midfielder, I'm going to go with uh, Isaac Hayden. We need him there, not centre back. You know, give us a bit of grit in the midfield. And then I'm going to play two number 10s in for this game. I thought, firstly, I'm going to go with Joe Willock. Worked hard against Man United, but, you know, he did have that chance in the first half where he should have just gave it to Joe Linton, but he just put it over the bar. And then I'm going to go with uh, Miguel Armouron in the, number, the other number 10 role. I think he had a much better game last weekend, so I'll stick him in there. And then potentially we could bring Sean Longstaff off the bench. Um, now into the uh, attacking three on the right hand side. I'm going to go with Jacob Murphy. I just don't know what he did to deserve to be dropped against Man United. Up top, I'm the striker. I'm going to go with Dwight Gale. Now because Cam Wilson sell, I feel like he could do better with you know Murphy and ASM up with him. In the side, I'm just thinking back at Bournemouth away when uh, you know beat them four one. Well, I had um, you know my number tens doing well. We had um, Shelby having a good game in the role where I'd put Hayden for this game, and obviously Dwight Gale getting himself a goal. ESM running the show in that game. So I think Dwight Gale, I'd put him up top. I think he'd probably do that role better than Joel Linton. And finally. On left hand side, Alan St. Maximin, of course, but definitely our best player so far this season. So, um, that's my start 11. Let us know if you'd make any changes. In terms of the score prediction, neither of us have won a game so far this season. I hope this doesn't come that doesn't come back to bite us and um, Leeds get the win. I'm gonna say we'll draw it's a 1 1 draw in this game. Um, don't forget hit that's. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Check out my social media pages in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you later.